Today we're going to take a look at how to install a package of bees. Package bees are one of several ways of purchasing bees. Bees can also be purchased as a nuke or even as an established colony. Or you can catch a swarm, whether you trap it or get a call uh, that there's a swarm to be gathered. So first let's talk about what a package of bees is. This is obviously a wood box with screen on both sides for ventilation. Inside here, as we'll see in a second, there's a, underneath this piece of wood here, there is a opening with a can hanging down that has some sugar water to feed these bees while in transit and stored in here. And there's a queen in a cage as well. These bees were made by shaking bees from other colonies into this package and then adding the queen in her cage into the, into the package. These bees could come from multiple different colonies. We don't even know the age of these bees. This is one drawback of, of packages that we get this assortment of bees put in with a queen they're unfamiliar with. And that's why nukes actually offer a, a big advantage over packages. But we're going to look at installing a package today. And one thing you can see is that we already have a layer of dead bees on the bottom. I just picked this up this morning. This one didn't get shipped, which is one advantage of packages. You can ship the bees. But if you see, there is on this side a layer of dead bees. This is going to happen. Remember, uh, the lifespan of a bee is short. So in the few days that they've been in this package, transported, eventually getting to me, the lifespan of those bees has ended. Now, you don't want a thick layer of dead bees on the bottom for obvious reasons. If shipped, more bees will die. So it's best if you could pick up the package. Um, shipping is a last resort, but it is an option with package bees. Now, before we go further with opening up our package, we're going to talk about how we got our hive ready for this package. Another advantage of packages is that you can install them in different types of equipment. Nukes typically come with deep frames, whereas a package can be put into mediums, if you're going to do all mediums, even top bar hives. But today we have a 10 frame Langstroth hive. We have a screened bottom board. However, we have put in a closer. We want this colony to be as welcoming as possible, so we want it to be dark. We have all our frames, 10 frames. We don't want to leave any openings. We will take some out when we put the package in. And we want to reduce the entrance. To reduce the number that fly immediately and also to protect the colony because we're going to be feeding them. We have our outer cover here that will go on top. We have our inner cover. Once we put the package in, we can close them up that way. We'll put our our sugar water up here and then some extra boxes over to enclose it. We'll talk about how we're going to feed them in a minute. A package like this typically wouldn't be very aggressive if they've been uh, shipped through the mail or mishandled, which you don't know. They could be. Especially if you're a newbie, you want to have confidence handling your bees. So wear your bee suit, you can even wear your gloves. And while I have no intention of smoking these bees at all, I have my smoker ready because it's very difficult if you get in a situation, anytime you're working your hives, where you need your smoker quickly, it's really hard to light it under those conditions. So having it ready, even if you don't expect to use it, is always a good way to be prepared. I'm going to go ahead and take out the sugar water and the queen and we'll show how to attach her to a frame inside the colony. It's a hot day today so I'm glad to have a cool ventilated comfort pro suit. You won't need a hive tool for moving the frames because they're not propolized together or anything but you will need a hive tool to remove this, this in this case it's stapled shut this piece of wood on top of this package so And we do have some bees getting out, so what we're going to do is, before they all start getting out, 
we need to get that can out and the bees are all around that can. So we need to get them down. I'm gonna actually turn this over because these staples are not letting it lay flat. We wanna get those bees off that can so we can lift that can up. Also, before we put them into the colony, and right now we'll show you, we have a spray bottle, just a cheap, cheap spray bottle with some of our one-to-one -one sugar water. So there's two things we can do with this. One is, I'm using plastic foundation here, and a lot of people like to just give it a mist. They're gonna eat this up real fast anyways, and they need the sugar water, so uh, it won't hurt anything. But also, a lot of people like to do that to get the bees and encourage them to draw out comb on these plastic foundations. You can also add an extra layer of wax. These are pretty well waxed, and I haven't had problem with these, though. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to give them a thump on the ground here just to get them down and then we'll give them a little spray we don't want to soak the bees by any means but just a little mist to get them to start grooming each other so here we go i have this on a real fine mist instead of a stream I'll give one more little thump. Then we'll take this can out, but we're gonna keep this cover handy. And you're probably gonna get some bees out. That's okay. Some bees might be on the can. This can's almost empty. We will save this just small, a couple small holes. We'll save this because we might as well feed the sugar water to the bees. Now we'll remove our queen. There's a small piece of foil here keeping her from falling in, but allowing us to just lift her up. We'll turn that, we're not ready for our bees to come out yet. We'll take a look at our queen. There's our queen, she's a Russian hybrid and she is marked. She's in there with these other bees. They're attendants, they help feed her, take care of her while she's in there. And they are gonna have to help eat their way out through this queen candy to get released. So it's a delayed release. You also can see, if you look closely, there are some dead bees in there as well. They're just attendants that have died, and that's okay. But if we put this queen downward, those dead bees could get in the way of her release. So we wanna put her sideways or up and down. We're gonna put her sideways so that they can eat out. The bees from the outside can eat in and release her. Now, they can't eat through this cork. So this cork is to ensure that they don't get through this candy too early and release her into the package. So that's like an insurance. So we're gonna take out that cork and let them eat the candy and release her. Now this side has a cork as well, if you see. You have to make sure you release the right end. If you release the end that has no candy, she'll come out right away. That could be very bad. So we want a delayed release. So we're gonna remove this cork, let them eat their way through that queen candy and get released. I'm gonna set this package aside without letting it tip. We're gonna need a few frames out for actually dumping the bees. And a frame to put our queen on. So I have a couple row bands here that are fragile, so one broke. Let's see if we can get the other one to the middle of the frame. That bee is trying to harm the queen there. And we have to remember to release that cork. Probably a more precise job than a hive tool, but it'll work. 
That cream candy is still covering the entrance for now. Of course you want the screen side out and so that there's no chance of us bothering the queen here when we dump our bees in we're going to actually put her there move this frame over so she's still centrally located but we're going to dump our bees here and put our frames back in and they will quickly move to where that queen is so we've removed three frames we have our queen attached sideways so that the the dead attendants won't block her ex escape we now are going to spray our bees a little more, knock them down, and get ready to shake them in. Actually, before we do that, we'll talk about a separate method you can use that doesn't revolve you shaking the bees in. And that would be to simply take this whole package, put it into your hive. Not ready for them yet. Cover it up and leave it. Put your inner cover, outer cover, and release them and let them make their own way out of that package. That would be the no shake method. Be pretty easy to do. However, you do need to come back and make sure that they have moved out of the package in a day or so and haven't started drawing comb inside of there. You could get yourself a mess if they decide, hey, we'll just stay here, build our colony, and that can happen. So you do want to check on them. We're gonna go ahead, however, and do the shake method. That's the most traditional way. I feel like it's a little bit of a rite of passage to shake your package, your first package of bees into your, into your hive. So we wanna make sure we have everything ready because it'll go quickly once we start. So we have three frames out. That's enough room to dump the bees right in there. We have our inner cover Get our hive tool right there in case we need it. I would do this on the ground, but so that you can see, I'll do it right here. And we'll give them a little spray first. Just a little, not a drenching. We're gonna shake them down, another little spritz of sugar water, and then we'll dump them in. We do have that layer of dead bees on the bottom. They're gonna get dumped in. They will have to drag those out, but that's okay. There will be bees left. We'll just put that by the front entrance and they'll find their way in. You don't want to wait and try to get every last bee out of the package while the other bees could be flying up in the air. So get the majority, put the inner cover on, put the package in front and let them make their way. We're gonna shake them just to knock them down. Give another little spritz. First thing they're gonna do now when they go in is going to start grooming each other and that'll keep them busy. Again, we're gonna dump them in right there. So here we go. We're gonna do a little side to side. Now, if you have enough bees on the top that you want, you can put your inner cover on upside down. We're gonna move this package right by the entrance. Now we have to carefully lower our additional frames back in. There's a lot of bees on the sides. You got to do this carefully. There we go. And we'll push them tight. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're ready to feed these bees. You really want to feed a new package. I'm not a strong proponent of feeding colonies, but new packages are the exception. I really want to feed these bees. So this is an entrance feeder or boardman feeder. It has my lid with holes. This can go right in the entrance, but you don't want to do that. These can really cause a problem with robbing, especially a wheat colony like a brand new installed package. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to put it right up here, or we actually have gotten this double, double jar holder from a friend. We're going to try this out. So we'll put this here and put two jars up there. Another option is a frame feeder. This actually takes the place of, this one takes place of two frames, fill it up with sugar water. This can hold quite a lot, one and a half gallons, and that can be left in the colony. The advantage of that is you don't need the extra equipment that we're going to have to cover up these jars. We'll be back in just a couple of days to check on these bees, see if the queen has been released, and also check on how much of this sugar water they've consumed. The can here, we're just gonna lean this in here as well, like so. Now, to cover this up, we have a couple empty medium boxes here. We could have a deep, but I don't have one handy. Then we get our outer cover on top. And now we have successfully hived a package of bees. Thank you for watching and stay around for the next video where we'll show you how to install a nuke. And then we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison week by week how these two colonies develop. So subscribe, follow along, and check out the next video.